All right, hey, what's going on? This is Dan Keller, your mortgage advisor at Guild Mortgage. I wanna welcome you to another episode of Making Sense of the Markets. Today is Saturday, September 30th, episode number 40. 40 weeks in a row, I've come to you with a market update and some valuable information centered around the mortgage process. And today, I'm gonna to share with you one of the most common topics that I talk with every single home buyer and every single client that's refinancing a home and it's on rate lock. So I'm going to explain what is a rate lock, um, how long can a rate be locked in for, what happens if rates drop after we lock in your rate, and a couple of really important questions centered around when is the best time to lock in your rate. So before I get into those questions and those topics, I wanna give you a quick market update. So we've seen some stabilization in the market over the last three weeks, that's a good thing. Um, we've kind of been really set in that 103.2 mark to 103.4 mark. What that means as it correlates to 30 year fixed rate mortgages is depending on your credit score and your down payment and type of property financed, 30 year fixed rates are trading, trending right in the 3.625 to 4% range, which is a really healthy range. So still a really great time to finance a home, still a really good time to refinance if you need to remove your private mortgage insurance or pull some equity out of your home. So certainly reach out to me if you have any questions around those topics and I'd love to be a resource. So um, let's talk about uh, rate lock and what is a rate lock? The best way that I explain a rate lock to my clients is a protection plan against your loan terms changing throughout the home buying process. Um, so the next question is, well, Dan, when can we lock our rate? Um, at Guild Mortgage, you need to have a property address or a mutually accepted contract on a property in order to lock in your interest rate. So there are some programs out there where they allow you to go out and shop for a home and lock in your rate while you do that. I'd like you to read the fine print on those. I don't offer that program, so I can't uh, talk on that program. But in general, you need to have a contract on a property before you can lock in your interest rate. Well, what are the terms for your rate lock? So how many days is your rate lock good for? So I'll start with the minimum. The shortest time period that you can lock in your interest rate is a 15 day lock. The most common is a 30 day. Then there's a 45 day lock and then a 60 day lock. The difference in, in regards to, there's not a upfront cost to lock in those rates, but the cost in regards to closing costs or points associated with the loan, the lock term, the difference between a 15 day lock and a 60 day lock may have an impact in regards to your closing costs of 0.50%. On a $500,000 loan amount, that's about $2,500 or so in closing costs between a 60 day rate lock or a 15 day rate lock being a little bit less expensive. If you have any questions on that, reach out to me. What I wanna talk about real briefly is another question that I get is, Dan, what if I'm building a new home and or a builder is building a home for us and we wanna lock in our rate because, but our home isn't going to be completed for six months. Can you do an extended rate lock? You absolutely can. We can go up to 255 days here at Guild Mortgage. However, there's an upfront lock-in fee and there are also some charges for the rate to do an extended rate lock. I'd be happy to explain those to you, but yes, there are protection plans in regards to rate locks for extended rate locks. Um, one of the other questions I get is, Dan, is there a cost to lock in your interest rate? Some banks and credit unions will charge you $450 or $650 to lock in your rate up front. We do not do that here at Guild Mortgage, so no, there are no fees to simply lock in your interest rate. You are, however, on your own to lock in your interest rate unless you're working with us. So that kind of brings me to my final question, Dan, when is the best time to lock your rate? What I do is I, through a mortgage planning meeting with each one of my clients up front, and then when you get mutual acceptance on your home, we will have a rate lock strategy conversation. During that conversation, I will explain to you some financial and economic events that will be taking place this week and through the next 30 days that will impact the markets. And I'll give you some solid rate lock advice that you can use. And then together, we will determine when to lock in your interest rate. That is the big difference between working with me and working with someone at a bank or a credit union or Quicken Loans, you don't get that type of advice. And what you'll find is that our mortgage rates here uh, compared to banks and credit unions and online lenders are relatively the same. So 
uh, a lot more value to be had in understanding the markets and understanding your rate lock versus just trying to do this on your own. So if you have any questions, let me know. Share this information. I'm trying to get these episodes out into the marketplace. It's real-time facts, real-time data. And as always, I appreciate you tuning in and look forward to connecting with you next week. Take care.